So today's video is going to be on uh, my eyebrow routine and what I do is I actually do two stages. So firstly I usually go and thread my eyebrows and I also give it a little bit of a trim and a shape up and then what I do is I use a tinting kit um, only because it's so much easier. It usually lasts for about a week and a half, two weeks and um, it saves me so much time in the morning. I don't have to get the pencil out and start filling on my eyebrows and whatnot. So yeah, I actually do this devoutly now. Um, but yeah, so I just had to show you guys. It's so simple and so easy and you can even buy the kits from like beauty supply stores and they're not that expensive. So yeah, do check out the video and let me know what you think. So I'll start off with threading first. Now there's two ways of threading. So you can either loop your thread. So I'll show you that first. What you want to do is you want to get your piece of thread, tie it up like that. Give it a little knot at the end, and then like that, and you want to just twist it. So I usually twist it about seven or eight times, and then you can use that method there. And I love using this to do my like upper lip, and um, even for people on the chin, and sometimes sideburns and things like that. So this is great for doing that because you can work both ways. So it's a lot faster doing finer hairs. Um, with my eyebrows, I sometimes use it on my eyebrows as well, it's just um, quite easy to hold as well, so yeah, there's that one method. Um, when I'm doing it on myself, obviously I do this method because I can't stretch and hold it at the same time. Um, and then for the second method, what you usually do is just pop the thread in there like that, roll it up a little bit. And then you want to do the same thing, you want to create that loop again, like that. So twist outwards this time, it grips the hair a lot better. And then what you want to do is you want to pull it like that. So to be honest, it's just whichever method you prefer. You can try both of them out, see what works for you. Um, obviously if you're practicing on other people, you can try this method. If you're practicing on yourself, you obviously have to try the loop method. Um, but yeah, try it out, it's really easy. Um, maybe try out just tidying up your eyebrows rather than giving it a full shape at first. You might need to use the tweezers a lot more. But um, with practice, you can get perfect. It's actually really easy to do. So yes, so continue watching the video and I'll show you how I do my eyebrows. And gosh, they really need it. So I'm using this set that I've picked up from the beauty supply store and it's got everything that I need for my tinting and also for my threading. Now first things first, I'm just using a cleanser to get rid of any excess oils, any makeup and really just prepping the skin to hold on to the dye. Then I'm just taking this spoolie brush or mascara wand and I'm just going to trim my eyebrows. Um, I like doing this beforehand because I just think that the long hairs really just get in the way but some people do it right at the end um, it's down to your preference really and already they make such a difference just trimming it slightly gives it so much of a neater sharper look now I'm just taking my thread and creating that loop and I've given it about 8 or 9 twists And then to just start threading your eyebrows, I'm starting with the middle and just really working section by section. And then when you're starting to actually shape up your brows, you want to kind of slice into your natural hair, into the hairs. And then just grab all of them into that little triangle. You kind of want to feed them into that triangle that you're working with. As you can see, I'm kind of doing it the opposite way now because obviously the hair growth is in the opposite direction. So you want to tuck them into your thread accordingly. Yeah, so you can see when I'm doing it on the bottom there, how I'm kind of tucking them into that piece of triangle that I'm working with and using that top thread as the guideline. Yeah. 
and now I'm working the opposite way yeah so can you see now I've changed to use the other line as the top line and I'm still working in the opposite direction now lastly just taking my tweezers and just tidying up any little bits of stray hairs that my thread hasn't managed to pick up Now to use the tin, all you need is your dappen dish and your eyelash tinting brush. And now I'm just going to take a small pea sized amount of the brown tin and add a few drops of the developer into it. Now the ratio of the developer depends on your company or the branding of the tin as every single one varies. But always do a patch test before you um, pop the tin onto your eyes. You want to make sure you're not allergic to anything yeah? and do read all the instructions. And then you want to just give it a good mix, making it a nice even consistency. And then to apply the tint, you want to make sure you're quite accurate in giving it a good shape. Because obviously any tiny little bits that go around the eyebrows is going to stain the, the skin slightly and give you a bit of an uneven shape. So you want to make sure you're doing it with care. Um, you can always use a little bit of Vaseline to kind of create a boundary of where the tint kind of lies within. Um, yeah, but I mean with practice you'll get it. And you just want to make sure that every single hair is coated most importantly. Especially if you have fine blonde hair or um, quite light eyebrows. You want to make sure the tint um, is coating every single strand of hair evenly, yeah? And then you just want to leave your tint on um, according to the instructions. Um, I'm going to leave mine on for about five minutes because I don't want it to be too dark. Um, some people leave it on for longer for a darker look, but I just want to keep it a little bit more soft. Um, so yeah, here is my before and after. So you can see it kind of does make a difference. So that's the end of my uh, eyebrow routine video. Um, yeah, so it was actually quite simple to do. With regards to threading, um, as I said before just keep practicing um, you'll get the hang of it sooner or later um, obviously I wouldn't go straight ahead and start shaping yet maybe just start with tidying up the little stray hairs first um, tinting is really easy um, if you do find that you're getting more tint staining your skin you can always just use a bit of Vaseline and um, just give it a little bit of a shape and then put the tint in the middle because um, where the Vaseline is blocking uh, the skin and sort of covering it up the tint won't stain it so yeah I don't like mine too dark I don't like it to stain the skin too much I like it to keep it a little bit more natural but you can leave this tint on a little bit longer and it can look a bit darker also you get different colours on mine I did a dark brown colour but you can also get black you can get blue back you can get light brown so yeah depending on which color you want to go for to be honest um i would suggest something that suits your hair color natural hair color as well there you have it that's the end of my video um so yeah i mean it was really simple to do wasn't it so um do check out my other videos and uh, let me know if you guys want to request anything in particular that i can shoot for you guys um yeah and i'll see you in my next video now Bye.